Hello. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to get started programming with the OLC Pixel Game Engine using CMake. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use that CMake script to build an OLC Pixel Game Engine application for the web using Imscripten. Today, we're going to focus on doing this on Windows. Now, we visit the Imscripten website, and here we can see that it requires Python and Git in order to install and use it. Also, in order to use our CMake script, we will need CMake, obviously, and MinGW. Now, we could go to Python's website, Git's website, CMake's website, and MinGW. <laughs> I don't know, man. That sounds like a lot of work. Fortunately for us, there exists a package manager for Windows called Chocolatey. It's a very useful tool that provides a unified interface for installing, updating, and removing software. To get started, we'll launch a Windows PowerShell as an administrator. We're going to use this an awful lot, so let's keep it around. Visit the Chocolatey website and click on the Get Started link. You can subscribe to their mailing list if you choose, then scroll down to Step 2 and choose Individual. Copy the command from the Chocolatey website and paste it into the PowerShell. Now we ensure that it's installed properly by typing in the following command and seeing if we get any errors. Looks good. Type in the following command to install git. Type in the following command to install CMake. Notice how we're instructing it to add CMake to our user path variable. Type the following command to install MinGW. Type the following command to install Inscripten. This command installs other software that Inscripten requires, like Python. It also sets up the Inscripten environment for you, which is quite nice. Close the administrator's PowerShell and open up a new PowerShell, this time as a normal user. Type the following command to ensure that Inscripten is installed properly. We may see an error telling us that the term is not recognized. Don't panic just yet. This was the expected result. You'll need to sign out of Windows and re-log in. Alternatively, you can reboot your computer. Go ahead and do that. I'll be right here waiting for you when you return. Welcome back. 
open up a PowerShell again as a normal user and try the following command. If your screen looks similar, you're ready to start using Emscripten. In Windows Explorer, navigate to the directory you want to put your project in. I'm going to use this folder on my desktop. Copy the path from the address bar and use it to navigate the PowerShell to that directory. If your path has spaces in it or other reserved characters, surround it with double quotes like so. Now we're going to clone the GitHub repository for the PGE template project that I've made. This is the project that has the CMake script and a default uh, Pixel Game Engine application. Navigate into the repo. Now, CMake needs a place to store temporary files for building, a build directory if you will. So let's create one and navigate into it. Next, we want to use Emscripten's wrapper for CMake to generate the CMake build files, or what CMake refers to as the CMake cache. Whenever you add or remove source files from your project, you will need to rerun this command. Type the following commands to tell CMake to build using the cache we generated with the previous command. The finished and script in HTML, JavaScript, data, and WebAssembly files are in the bin directory. These are the files you want to put on your web server to share your project with the world. If you don't have a web server set up, you can use the following command to test it out locally. You can now use whatever code editor you choose to develop your PGE application and use Emscripten and CMake to build it.